and squirrels. Welcome to Addicted Angler. If you like me, if you're like me and addicted to fishing, then I invite you to come with me on a little fishing adventure outside of Winnipeg. I'm gonna head to Lockport and see if I can catch anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try for some cats. Uh, I'm gonna try for some little soggy, some gold eye, whatever will bite. Um, unlike my friend down in the states in Nebraska, we can only have one rod in the water at a time. Um, I noticed some of his videos, Josh with uh, Pig Patrol TV, he has five rods when he's on a river and that's completely legal. So he has a little bit more action than uh, we get up here in Canada. Um, yeah, it blows me away. In, in, in the winter time, you can have two rods in the water. Um, but in the summer, you're only allowed one. So you tell me how that makes sense. And I don't know. You can comment that down below. But uh, I'm going to try uh, using some artificials at first. I do have some crawlers. And I do have some stinky old chicken hearts. So join me on an adventure with Addicted Angler. We're going to... Do some angling. <laughs> See you when we're there. Come on. View here at Lockport. See the fish come through the lock and all the minnows. Some of them get damaged and wounded and all the predator fish just hang out here and scoop up the ones that can't swim right. So it's like a, it's like a buffet for fish in here. There's everything in here. There's walleye, pike, sauger, uh, cat, lots of catfish. I got some chicken hearts on right now, I'm trying to get some, trying to pick off some cats. And let's see how it goes. Come on, come here, take it, take it. I hope my rods, you can see my rod tip, if it's picking up on the camera. But something was just playing with that big old juicy crawler I got on there. Still can't believe I left my tackle box at the last spot. But it's over half an hour away in a busy neighborhood. So the chances of it still sitting there are slim. I'm hoping one of the members of the community there that have cottages in that area will pick it up and hold it for me. So. I have the worst luck with tackle, man. I dropped another tackle box down the hole, ice fishing at uh, Lake, Lake Manitoba. Uh, yeah. That's what you get when you're a rookie. Wait. Come on. Where did you go? Yeah. Yeah. Let us see. That's a bite all day. Yep. Yep, I got one. Don't know what it is, but it's feeling kind of feeling kind of catfishy, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe even a walleye. I don't know. It's fighting pretty good. Catfish, I think. Or a drum. More than likely a drum. Am I recording? Little drum fish, I think. Feeling like a drum. Definitely a drum. Definitely a drum fish. <laughs> Still in a tucker mode a bit. Hope he didn't swallow it. Nope. Oh yeah, he swallowed it. Damn it. You're toast, buddy. Hurry. See ya. Turn over. Swim. It. it must be a little walleye. It feels like a walleye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, a little 
gold eye. Man, I should be using him for bait. Should be using you for bait, buddy. Hey? Eh? I should be using this guy for bait. Little Goldie, little Goldie. <laughs> but I didn't bring a knife. And yeah, see you later, buddy. Ever. I got a little curly tailed grub on a glow in the dark one uh, with an eighth ounce jig head. See if I can pick up some of these gold eye here. Or whatever. Sauger. Saug eye. Yeah, it looks good in the water. I just, uh, I don't know. Right there is where I hit it. As soon as it hit the water, he crushed it. Well, that was a worm. Those little gold eye are sure fast. They're fast little guys. Something just hit me. Wow. That was really close to shore, too. Let's try that again. That was right here. Come on, hit it again. using right now. It's just a little glow in the day kind of glow in the dark um, curly tail and something just hammered it about 20 feet off the shore. Probably a gold eye if I had to bet. So I am going to try to see if I can pick him up. Next time I'll bring a knife so I can use some gold eye for bait because catfish love them. Hit it again, buddy. Hit it again. Is that a one, one and done or what? Is it ever getting windy? Hey, man. Oh, yeah, I caught a few. I lost a lot of gear. <laughs> it's snaggy, eh? Is that right? Yep. And then I was fishing in hay, uh, Woodhaven in uh, Winnipeg today, and I drove away and left my tackle box on the fucking road, man. <laughs> yeah. So I only got like my little stone tackle, my ice fishing stuff. So I was already here when I realized it. Oh, I don't know, probably. But I know most of the people. I'm. Oh, there we go. That's something. A little gold eye, little sauger. Ah, look at that. It's a pike. It's a monster. <laughs> That's the smallest pike I have ever seen in my life. This, this river is up the highest of the <laughs> it's a monster, yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking off, man. If you want to fish here, you're good. Yeah. So that was that. <laughs> Not my uh, greatest, greatest uh, fishing adventure ever. I lost so much tackle. And not to boot, when I left Woodhaven in Winnipeg, I uh, put my tackle box down at the back of the truck to load my cameras and stuff in the back seat and drove away with my tackle box at the back of my truck. So, and I was 40 minutes away, so it's not like I could just turn around and hope that it would be there. It's a residential area. It was five minutes after I was gone, They prob someone probably picked it up. So I'm just hoping one of the neighbors there or uh, one of the builders picked it up and I'll get my tackle box back but anyways um, thanks for watching addicted angling um, 
if you want to support me, you can uh, just just watch my videos, hit that thumbs up button, share it. Um, I know I'm still just a rookie at the whole YouTube thing, but um, they'll get better. Content will get better, and I appreciate your support for now. So with that, I'll see you on the next one. So um, my faith in humanity is restored. <laughs> um, this is where I was fishing this morning. And right at the back of my truck right there is where I left my tackle box this morning. And uh, I was all the way out in Lockport. I was 40 minutes away. I drove all the way back here after fishing out there for a couple hours. And on this gentleman's front step was my tackle box. And he left me this sign. Lost the tackle box. Got it. It's on the steps from another Alberta boy. So how cool is that, man? Manitoba, friendly Manitoba from two Alberta boys. So um, whoever's home that is in Woodhaven, um, if you ever happened upon my channel, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, it means everything to me. Thank you.